I'm Colin, and this video I'm going to read a BBC News Hindi article, and then I'm going to review some of the vocabulary to look at the source languages and make some comments about the style of the article based on the registers used. So the article is an article from today uh, on the BBC News Hindi website. Uh, I picked it because it was the top article on the website. Uh, it's about a, a farmer movement in, that's going on in India and uh, there was an accident or some violence and a gentleman passed away. Uh, so it's a rather sad story. Um, but I'm going to now read it and so you can follow along and what I'd like to suggest to you is uh, to think about whether you can identify the source languages of the words as you hear it. Uh, my, As I've said in a previous video, before I started studying language, I was unable to identify the source languages of the vocabulary words that I used. But once I started studying it, then I became highly attuned to it. Uh, so if you have studied language, you'll, you'll probably recognize them as we go along. But if you haven't, then uh, then maybe you won't. Uh, and so afterwards, after I read the article, then I'll go through the vocabulary, the foreign words that are in the article, uh, and uh, maybe it will help you uh, uh, start thinking about how foreign vocabulary is used in modern standard Hindi. So again, try to pick out the foreign vocabulary as we read. I won't, I won't announce it as I go along as I did in the previous videos. I'm just going to read the article and then I'll do a textual analysis. Okay, so I'll start reading now. The title, Kisan Andalin. Kanari border per Marne Wale Yuvik Kebari me Kya Pata He. And it looks like the person is 24 Varshia Shub Karan Singh Jiski Goli Lagne Se Mot Hui. Punjab or Haryana ke beach stit Shub Shum Shambu or Kanari border per Budvarko Afra Tafri. Ka alam raha. Tanav pare is mahol ke beach kanore me. Ek yuva kesan ki goli lagne se mot hone ki khabar ai he. Kesan sangatano me. Kesan sagatano ke sat sat. Punjab sarkar ne is yuvik ki mot ki pushti ki he. Halanki, Haryana police ne kisan andalan me kisi bi kisan ke mare jane ki khabar ko afwa karar diya gaya hai. Kanori border par mojood jasveer singh shub ke karibi rishtedar hai. Unhone arop lagaya ki shub karan singh kisano or police ke beach ho raha Ho rahe gati road ki jagaha se karib pancho gaj pele keto me kardata. I'm going to take a minute and look up this word gaj. I forgot to look it up as I was going through the article the first time. Uh, I'm using the resource uh, Wiktionary. So it says it's an elephant, uh, another word for elephant. Oh, yeah, I should know that. Uh, but how does it make sense here? 500 Gaj Pele, Keto Me Karata. Let's look at this. Stood in the fields 500 yards ago. So this might be Guz. Let's see if Persian has uh, Guz. Uh, yard from classical Persian, indeed. So how do you say yard in Hindi? Uh, it might not have a... Uh, a direct parallel. So I'm just going to put this word guz in the Persian column of the word list that I'm keeping. I'm going to mark that I didn't have a, uh, a synonym for it in Sanskrit. I'm going to update the numbers. Let's check Sanskrit just in case. Undagun, maybe. We can add that as the vocabulary possibility for this word. 
Okay, so I'll keep reading. I just looked up a word that I missed the first time around, but I'll keep going. And you got a glimpse of the vocabulary list that I'll be referring to later. Anyway, unhone kaha tabhi achanek shub gogoli lagi or vo girgaya. Iske baad shub ko staniya hospital me le jaya gaya. Baad me unhe patiala ke Rajendra hospital me refer kardia gaya. Jaha unhe mrit goshit kardia gaya. Konta marne wala yuva. BBC Punjabi Samvad Data uh, Gagan Deep Singh ko mili jankari ke mutabik. Uh, Shub Karan Singh Betinda Jile ke bal on gao ke rehne wale te. Wo apne parivar me kamane wale akele shaks te. Or apne chacha baljit singh ke saat keti kisani karte te. Unke parivar ke pas matra do ekar jamin he. Lekin ve lees per fifteen ekar jamin. Laker Keti ka rahe te. Apne patije ke bare me patate hue baljit singh ne BBC News ko bataya shub karan ki ma 15 sao pele ki guzar gai ti. Wo apne piche do behno or ek dadi ko chord gaya he. Keti ke sat sat kisan andalin. Baljit Singh ne BBC ko bataya hai ki shub ghar ke sare kam sambhalne ke saat saat kisan andalan me hissa liya karte te. Wo kete hai shub ghar ke sare kam sambhalne ke saat saat kisan andalan me bhi hissa le rahe ta. Usne dili wale andalan me bhi hissa liya ta. Wo apne doston ke saat 13 February ko yaha aya tha. Mene use 19 February ko phone karke. Oops, I forgot to put this one also in the list, so I'm going to do that real quick. Phone can be called a durbash. So I'm going to put that in the English column and update the numbers. Which takes us to 60 foreign words in this article. Okay, so I was here at phone. Karke vapis ane ko kahata. Lekin usne kaha ki wo February me dili tak pahunch kar vapis aega. Unhone shub shub karan sing ki shiksha ke bari me jankari dete hue kaha ki usne metric pass karne ke bar hi keti bari karne ka faisla kia ta. Unhone ye bhi bataya ki shu muje kendriya mantrion ke sat jari betekon ke bari me betata retha ta use umid ti ki sarkar en mango ko man legi. Punjab sarkar kya boli. Punjab ke swastia mantri da probably Dr. Balbir Singh ne. Is yuvik ki mot ki pushti karte hue kaha he ye bohut bura he ki un data un data grain river per an ye ho ra he unhe marag ja ra he me dekna ayahu ki ek yuva lurki ki hatia kar di gai he me Ek anya vyakti se bhi milahu. Wo bhagya shali tha ki use goli chu kar nikal gai. Patiala zila ke sarkari hospital Rajendra hospital ke chikitsa adhikshak Dr. Harnam Singh Reki ne bataya hai ki 22 varshiya yuvak shub karan Singh ki goli lagne se mot hui hai. Unhone kaha mot ke pratamik karan sir ke piche goli lagna hai. Unhe mrit avastha me patiala ke Rajendra Sarkari Medical College. Oops, I forgot to put that in the list too. I missed a few of these words, I apologize. Or hospital layagayata. So medical college. I think that will be chikitsa vishwavidyale. 
So let's put this in the English part of the list and then update the numbers. Hopefully I won't have to do this too many more times. So I was there at medical college or hospital laya gayata. Unhone kaha he ki vistrit jankare postmortem. I think I forgot this one too. Let's check. Postmortem. Nope, it doesn't look like it. So let's see if there's another way to say this. Modern author. That makes sense. So put it in the English column. You can see the, these lists are quite long. It's a surprising number of foreign loan words in this article. Although as I'm reading, it doesn't sound too foreign, uh, which shows the degree to which fo foreign loan words are now uh, used in modern standard Hindi. Anyway, postmortem ke baad hi samne aegi shav ko hospital ki mortuary me rakwaya gaya hai. Congress Neta Pratap Singh uh, Bajwa Ne Kaha uh, Batinda Zile Ke Shub Karan Singh Ki Mot Ki Khabar Behad Afsos Janak He Mene Kud Video Deka He Uske Sir Ke Piche Goli Lagi Hui He Akali Dal Ne Bhagwant Man Ko Ghera Ye khabar ane ke baad se Punjab me rajnitik bayan bazi tez hor gai hai jahan ek or am admi party or congress is mamle me haryana sarkar ko kherte nazar a rahe hai wahi shi romani akali dal ne is mamle me Punjab ke mojuda cm bhagwant man ko Kerne ki koshish ki he. Shiromani Akali Dal ke Sukbir Singh Badal ne is Yuvik ki mot per tipani dete hue ex per post kia he. Ye beha dukid he. Batenda ke more me. Rehne wale shub karan singh ki haryana police firing me mot honek se pura punjab shok me dub gaya hai. Unhone kaha punjab ke mukya mantri bhagwant singh man ka double game is yuvik ki mot ke liye zimidar hai. Do behno ne apna bhai ko ko diya hai. Bhagwant Man Punjabi Kisano Ke Kalaf Haryana Ke Sat Milkar Dusre Raja Ke Ki Police Ko Punjab Ki Zameen Per Punjabio Per Hamla Karke Unhe Marne Ki Ijazit Ijazit De Rahe Kisi Lok Tantra Me Shanti Se Virod Pradarshan Karai Kisano Per Golian Se Hamle Nahi Ki Ajata Be Gunah Yuvik Shub Karan Singh ki hatya ke liye Bhagwant Singh zimedar hai. And then I think it's close to being done. So just a few more paragraphs. Udar Congress ne Shub Karan Singh ki mot par Punjab ki am admi party sarkar ko khat gare me khada kia hai. Social media per Pian Jari Karte Hue Pratap Singh Bajwa Ne Kaha Kai Deno Me Haryana Police Bina Kisi Uksave Ke Firing Kar Rahi He Ham Kai Deno Se Bhagwant Man Ko Ke Rai Te Ki Kendra Ke Sat Bicholia Mat Bano Punjab ke logon ke saat khade raho. Punjab ki kisano ke saat khade raho. Ab 150 se adhik kisan ghayal hai. Or apne ek b f i r darj nahi ki hai. Bajwe ne maang ki ki Punjab sarkar tu rant haryana ke greh mantri anil vij ke kalaf mukadma darj kare. Unhone kaha Punjab ke kisano shanti purvik dili ke liye kuch kar rahe I forget what this means. Let's check. Uh, put it into English or traveling. 
okay? Un he Haryana me se hokar suraksha dili ki or jane dia gaye. Jane dia jaye. Huh, okay? Haryana sarkar jo is vakt karahi hai, wo bahut nindaniya hai. Haryana police ne bataya afwa. Haryana police ne ab is kisan andalan me kisi kisan ke mare jane ki khabar ko afwa bataya hai. Ye khabar chapne se lag bhag char gante pele social media per di gai jankari me Haryana police ne lika hai abhi tak ki prap jankari ke anusar aj kisan andalan me kisi bhi kisan ki mrityu nahi hui hai. Ye matra ek afwa hai. And uh, that's the end of the article. Uh, so, as I said, it's it's a sad article. Uh, this uh, it's about this gentleman's death. And um, but the it, the focus of this video isn't on the content of the article, rather on the language of the article. So now I would like to uh, go to the vocabulary list that I made and show you all of the words that were foreign in this article. And then I'll show, show you the Tatsama equivalent of the, the words, the foreign words. Uh, and in doing so, uh, I'm highlighting a way that uh, should Hindi could be used or if one wanted to write in should Hindi. And then I'd also like to make a sociolinguistic comment about the apparent increase of foreign loanwords in, uh, in modern standard Hindi. So here is the list of vocabulary. And in total, I found 62 foreign words in this article the article uh, Kisan Omdalin. And the first, I'll go through each word and its uh, equivalent. So the English words are first, then are the Persian words, and then are the Arabic words. And I found 20 English words, I found 16 Persian words, and I found 26 Arabic words. So Arabic was the largest foreign loan word uh, source in th for this article. Uh, but English was second, and then Persian third. So the first um, English word that was used is border. And as I mentioned in another video, uh, in Devanagari, the consonants of English loan words are often put in retroflex sounds, which is a peculiar choice to make, I think, for that Hindi speakers uh, use for English words, given that in English there are no retroflex sounds. So it must be that our the English pronunciation of consonants sound might sound retroflex to, the, to a Hindi speaker, uh, although I don't uh, that I mean, that might be, or it might be a convention that was started a while ago and has just been kept up with. But when I speak uh, English words in Hindi, Hindi sentences, I don't say the retroflex sound. So instead of saying border, I say border, just as I would in English. So anyway, the first word is border, and the Sanskritic Hindi equivalent would be Sima. Uh, the next word, police, has a synonym in arakshak. Then, hospital, which is a Hindiized version of an English word, hospital, uh, has, a ver has a synonym in chikitsale. Refer karna can be sandarbdena. I couldn't find a word for acre. Lease, like a lease that you take out on a house, can be refer referred to as parta. News, samachar, metric, praveshika, pariksha. Mortuary is a shavgri. Congress is a proper noun, and I couldn't find a, uh, couldn't think of a good Hindi equivalent for Congress. Video can be called a chalchitra. Uh, X, the social media platform, I couldn't think of a, a Hindi word for X, but post, like a post karna that you do on a social media site, you can say maybe Sandesh Lagana. Uh, there might be a better way to phrase that, um, but I haven't found it yet. 
for firing, one might say chalana. For double game, one can say vak chal, which has uh, which means deceit or playing double game. Am admi party. So this is a, I put this in the English section because of the last word party, but I believe am is a Perso Arabic word. Let's check it out real quick in Wiktionary. Let's see here. Mango in Sanskrit, but in Arabic it means common every day. So let's go back to the vocabulary list. Am is Arabic. Admi is also Arabic, but party is English. So another way to I know it's a proper noun. Um, it's it's the name of a political party, uh, but a, a way to say those same words in should Hindi would be Samanya Vyakti Dal. Social media might be called Samajik Madhyam. Phone can be called Durbash. Medical college Chikitsa Vishwa Vidyale. And post mortem a Maranotar. So those are those English words were all used in this Hindi article that I just uh, read. Uh, and I, I'm sure you were able to recognize them, or if if I if someone were to have asked you, is this what type of word is this? You pro English to me stands out quite much more than do Persian and Arabic, and that might be because I don't know uh, Persian and Arabic as well as I know English. But my suspicion is that even for native Hindi speakers, the Perso Arabic vocabulary is much less marked than is the English vocabulary. So if you have an opinion about this, uh, please leave a comment and let me know. I'm curious to find out. Okay, so here's the Persian word list. And I found 16 Persian words. Uh, and some of them are uh, Persianized versions of Arabic. But I put those in the Persian source because I felt as if those words are uh, are Persian words because they're not in Arabic. I'll show you an example when we get there. But just to start, uh, oftentimes government is called Sarkar. Uh, in Sanskrit, you can call it a Shasan. Uh, and in, mo in modern standard Hindi, you can call it Shasan. Halanki uh, for, I think this is however, or how does, although. Uh, so although, yadiyapi is the Sanskritic equivalent. Rishtedar, for family members, can be called parijan. Ki, this paratactic particle ki that I often talk about in the other Hindi videos, uh, it doesn't have a direct translation um, in Hindi that is Sanskritic Hindi, but oftentimes relative correlative sentences are used. So if, for example, if you say, um, well, I, I don't want to come up with an example off the top of my head. It might not be correct, but just know that this paratactic particle key is a Persian uh, is a Persian grammatical word, and it doesn't it, usually instead of structuring a sentence with key like mujhe lagte hai ki bahar bahut sundar hai, you can say jo bahar hai wo sundar hai. So that's an example of how uh, you can use a grammatical structure that is Sanskritic instead of this paratactic particle key that is very common in modern standard Hindi. Uh, even in should Hindi, people use it, uh, although um, although it's, uh, or, or not although, but so it's just, it is used commonly, and there is not a direct translation is the point I want to make. So the next word, zameen, uh, can be called pritvi or dharti. Guzer uh, has a meaning to pass, as in time can pass, samai guzer jate uh, but in, it's often used to talk about someone passing away, guzer jana, admi guzer gaye So a different way to say that is to use mrityu, uh, which is a Sanskritic Hindi word. So I think it's, I don't know the gender of mrityu. Let me look it up real quick. So you could say something like. It looks like it is a, does it have a gender here? Feminine noun, so uski mrityu hui. Dukit baat hai ki uski mrityu hui. Umid can be called asha. Behad, so this is a, an example, I've talked about this lexical item before. Behad is an example of a Persian prefix with an Arabic root word. Be means without, and had means limit, so it can be translated as extremely. The way to say that in Sanskrit is atyant. 
And here's another example of a Persian word that, however, this one's mixed with a Hindi suffix, janak, uh, afsos meaning regret, and janak meaning uh, full of, so regrettable, and pachtav is how to say it. I think this is tadbhava Hindi. I don't know if it's Sanskritic. Let me check. I mean Sanskritic in the sense of tatsama. Uh, and it's not, I think I think it might even be pachtava. See if that can be found in here. Yes, Sanskrit, pachtapat is the root. So pachtava is regret. You can say it. Uh, it looks like khed afsos. I think afsos is Persian. I think khed is Arabic. And then pach, uh, pachtava is the uh, Sanskritic equivalent. And so it's, um, it is good to know these synonyms for reading articles like the BBC Hindi article that we're reading. Okay, so the next word is kud, and that means oneself. So in Sanskritic Hindi, you can say swayam. Bayan bazi is another one of those Arabic Persian combinations. Bayan is an Arabic word for statement, and bazi is, I think, one who does something. Uh, so a, a vakra patuta is a, a Hindi way of saying this word. Uh, el Bayan Bazi. I think I think this might not be the best example of a Hindi word for Bayan Bazi. Bayan Bazi, I think, has the a statement has an aspect of like uh, a rhetoric a rhetorical uh, aspect to the thought, whereas uh, Vakra Patuta, uh, I think it has more to do with like a well spoken sentence rather than it being rhetoric. So I think this might, if you have a better word for Bayan Bazi, please let me know. Uh, tez, meaning quickly, can be Shigra. Uh, koshish can be Prayas. Zimedar, Uturdai. Begunah can be Nirdosh. And Gaz, uh, which is the one I added earlier. Uh, this might be a Sanskritic version, but I don't think it's used in Hindi. Uh, it's just a possibility if you really want to look for one. If you have a better suggestion for guz, please let me know. So those are the Persian words. And uh, as you can see, some of them are common. Like, for example, let's go through. Sarkar is very common. Uh, Prime Minister Modi says Sarkar all the time. Halanki you see in uh, BBC Hindi quite a bit. Uh, Rishtedar is a common word. Ki, Zameen, common, Guzer, common, Umi, common, Beha, common, Afsos, Janik, probably common, Kud, common, Bayan, Bazi. That's a little bit literary, so you'll see it in Urdu probably more than you'll see it in Hindi, but uh, but it's still, you know, Chilega. Tez is common, Koshish, common, Zimidar, common, Beguna. That's... Uh, that's a little literary, I'd argue, and so is guz. So a lot of these Persian words are very commonly used in Hindi. Uh, and uh, again, I don't want to, I'm not saying they should or should not be used. I think there's an aesthetic when they are used. But one of the requirements of using these words is having an audience that is familiar with Persian or English or Arabic. Uh, and so when you, when you can use a synonym on any given word uh, from four source languages, Sanskrit, Great English, Persian, or Arabic, uh, the amount of vocabulary one has to learn is just enormous, an enormous amount of vocabulary, uh, which is one of the trade-offs of writing in this style. Uh, it requires a highly erudite audience. Uh, and so the people who read BBC Hindi who are fluent in this type of, this style of Hindi, uh, they have just an incredible grasp of uh a huge amount of language of vocabulary words. Anyway, so let's get to the Arabic words in this article. Afri tafri might be called astviasta. Afri tafri uh, means something like chaos. And um, sorry, there was a bug on my screen. Uh, and uh, so does astviasta. I've never heard either of these words. I had to look. I couldn't find afri tafri in Wiktionary. I had to look it up in the Oxford English Hindi Dictionary, uh, and it, it was there. Uh, but it's uh, it's it's an Arabic term, I think, and or it's derived from Arabic at least. 
uh, and it's it might be antiquated. A lot of these terms might be antiquated, so you'd hear them a lot more in the early uh, 20th century or the 19th century when Urdu was a lot more popular than Hindi, uh, or Hindustani was also popular, so people could use all, all sorts of different words. Um, but I've never heard Ast Vyast Da either. Now that's not to say it's not common that I haven't heard it. It could be just that I don't know it. Um, but these were both kind of new words for me, a little bit difficult. Uh, the next word, Alam, uh, it means uh, stiti or situation, condition. Mahol can be translated as Vatavran. Khabar, Samachar, Mot can be translated as Mrityu. Afva can be translated as gap or prajalp. I found in Sanskrit, but I don't know if prajalp is used in Hindi. Uh, I couldn't find it in the Oxford English uh, Hindi English Dictionary, um, but it might be used. I couldn't find it on, uh, I don't think it's in Wiktionary either. Let's check real quick. Yeah, it's not there. So uh, it might not be used. Gup is a, is a tadbhava word, I think. But it might it could be used in in lieu of afwa. Qarar uh, is goshit. Mojud is upastit. And then after mojud, there's mojuda. So vartman. Mojud I think means present, whereas mojuda means uh, current, uh, which are similar but different. And upastit and vartman uh, accurately reflect that difference. Karib and karib can be uh, translated as anu manit. Ke bad for after could be translated as ke paschat. Ke mutabik is ke anusar. Uh, zilla as a jan janapad or janpad. Shucks is a vyakti. Lakin can be called parantu or kintu. Hissa for part has a, t I think this is a tadbhava translation in bhag. Faisla for decision, nirne. Jari. This is a very common word. Uh, prachlit, uh, also common. Nazar, drishya in Sanskrit. Mamla can be called stiti or paristiti. I'm not sure which one of those would be more accurate. Uh, if you have an idea, please let me know. Ke kalaf could be translated as ke verud. Hamla can be translated as akraman. Ijazit can be translated as anumati. Darj, uh, abilikit. Like Dharj Karna, I think, is to enter something into a uh, an institution. Uh, Abilikit is uh, is to write to record. Uh, I think one of the definitions of Dharj is record or recorded. So I think that's how I got Abilikit. Uh, but the Dharj aspect of entering uh, something written into an institution might be a little bit different than Abilikit. So if you have a better translation, please let me know. Uh, Mukadma in Arabic is can be translated as abiyog in Sanskrit, and finally vakt as samai or same. I've heard it now pronounced both ways, samai same. I'm not sure which is correct. I think I, I think same is correct, but I tend to say samai, so I'm trying to correct myself. Uh, anyway, let's let me just go through these Arabic words and say which ones I think are common. Afri tafri. Definitely not common, as I mentioned. Alam is pretty not common. Mahol might be common. Kabar is common. Mot common. Afva, uh, I would say, is less common than gut shop. Uh, Karar, I've seen a lot in BBC Hindi, but I've only seen it there. Mojud, I've seen a lot. Karib, I've seen a lot. Kebad, I bet most people didn't even know that that was Arabic. K mutabak, uh, I see sometimes, but K on usar, you also see. Zilla is very common, it's used in official langu language. Kshucks, similarly. Lakin is another one that is so common, I doubt that most people even recognize it as Arabic. Hissa is very common, Faisla is common, Jari is common, Nazar is common, as I mentioned, Mamla is common, K Kalaf is common, Hamla is common, Ijazit is a little bit literary. Darj is a little bit historical and literary. Mukadma is a, is a bit literary. And Vakt is very common. 
So the point is that a lot of these words, even though there are a surprisingly high number of them, are now common in Hindi. And I would say that some of the, as I've mentioned, some of these Perso-Arabic words are even more common than the English words. Like, for example, well, maybe not than police or hospital. I think those are very common. But lease I've never seen before. Um, what else? Uh, you usually don't see firing like this or double game. Uh, social media is pretty common. Uh, phone is common, even though Durbash is a definite uh, possibility. Uh, medical college and uh, postmortem. I mean, one really has to know English pretty well to know what a postmortem is. Uh, I doubt that majority of Hindi speakers know what a postmortem is, unless they're also an English speaker. It just seems like a very out of the way. Uh, that is niche vocabulary word. Uh, modern author seems like it would be a better choice. Anyway, so uh, this article provided all of those uh, foreign vocabulary words, and it's just a common standard article that you see on the BBC Hindi. But one of the things I've I've tried to note is how many foreign loan words there are in this in, in comparison to say this document the united declaration universal declaration of human rights um i just want to read through the first paragraph again uh well maybe not the first paragraph that's a bad example since there's a lot of english in it and i don't know why uh there's a lot of english in the first paragraph but not in the other paragraphs um but a majority of this uh, of this document is in uh, either Tatsama or Tadbhava Hindi, whereas uh, I, I, maybe a majority of this article in BBC Hindi is also majority Tatsama or Tadbhava Hindi. I didn't do a full word count, but I would argue that the number of loan words, uh, the percentage of loan words in relation to the total number of words is higher in the BBC Hindi uh, document than it is in the the older uh, Hindi document that I read that I this uh, UN document, and that's to say that my opinion, my suspicion, and this isn't a scientific study, so I haven't I haven't done any actual like data metrics or anything. So I, I this is just my hypothesis at this point is that the the number of foreign loan words that are becoming used in Hindi is increasing. Uh, and that includes English and Persian and Arabic, at least on publications like BBC Hindi and also, I would argue, Danik Bhaskar. Um, and so one thing I'm looking for are resources that are should Hindi for a comparison. And uh, I haven't found any mainstream newspapers that are in should Hindi. Uh, Mr. Nitya Anand Mishra, has said that he he reads mostly should Hindi in one of his videos, and so I'm hoping that maybe he can recommend some some resources that uh, foreign learners can use to learn should Hindi uh, if they if they so want to. Um, but the so but for the the socio linguistic point that I want to make uh, is that the the. The source language, Hindi, modern standard Hindi, is incorporating more vocabulary from more source languages. Uh, and that's an interesting linguistic phenomenon, I'd ar argue. And I would say that it's evident in a, a document like this. Uh, and it, it's shown through uh, finding 62 foreign words in a document that's not really not very long. So you really have in every sentence uh, s some foreign loan words which is requires, like I mentioned, just a huge vocabulary. Anyway, so I hope this video has been interesting for you. Uh, I haven't talked that much about social theory. Um, I wanted, I just read this Hindi article and I thought, why not show how many foreign loan words there are? Um, people, <laughs> people might think that I've, like I've said before, that I'm spending a disproportionate amount of time considering this topic, uh, but there are a couple reasons that I'm doing so. One is that it's very practical for a language learner, meaning one, in order to understand register and style, one does have to learn the source languages for most of these vocabulary words. Uh, and the second is that uh, I'm interested in should Hindi as an alternative to uh, this Prachlit or Lokpriya Hindi, as I call it. And 
In order to gain a better understanding of the Lok Priya Hindi, it's good to do textual analyses of the of these texts, especially when looking at things like etymology. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, and if this is interesting to you, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with more content that I create. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to, to balance uh, the videos between considering Hindi, modern standard Hindi, should Hindi, and, and then also anthropology on the other hand. I think the two go nicely together. Uh, I understand that they're both rather esoteric topics for most people. Uh, but if you are a social, if you're interested in social science and you speak Hindi and English, then uh, these videos are for you. So I hope that the YouTube algorithm is is finding the correct demographics to advertise to. Uh, if you have ideas about how to um, advertise these videos more accurately to that demographic, please let me know in the comments. Please leave a comment and let me know what you thought about the video, uh, about uh, the analysis, if you would emphasize anything differently or include information that I didn't include. I'm very open to constructive criticism. Uh, if Hindi is your native language and you feel that uh, that I am I, I hope that you feel that I'm being respectful about this linguistic analysis. I know that some people feel very strongly about language in their national languages, uh, as just as I feel strongly about English. Um, but I feel that an analysis of language shouldn't be uh, insulting to anyone. Um, but as I've mentioned before, uh, on I've seen videos on the Sanskrit channel with Mr. Uday Shreyas, who emphasizes the religious and the nationalist aspects of languages. Uh, and uh, also I've seen, uh, I know that should Hindi people uh, might be... Um, have have opinions about the amount of foreign language in this article. So I hope my my point is that I hope this is inoffensive to everyone. Uh, if there are elements that you found uh, bothersome, please let me know. Also, um, yeah. But otherwise, I hope this was informative for you. It's it's informative for me, and I'd like to share it with other people. Uh, so if you and if you have ideas about other uh, documents that you think are useful to analyze for a demonstration of the of uh, of Hindi, whether this kind of mixed Hindi, the Mishrit Lok Priya Hindi, or the Should Hindi, please let me know that. Also, I'm quite interested, and we'll continue to do textual analyses of documents. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.